guys welcome back to my channel i'm about to shoot a book oh my god a book chat video <laughs> Welcome! Hi people! Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited because today's video is another book chat video and I'm very excited for the kind of book I'll be reviewing or chatting about in today's video. And the book is The Secret Life or the Secret Lives of Baba Segi's Wives. It's such an interesting read. It's really, really hilarious. Um, it's a novel written by a Nigerian author. Her name is Lola Shone. The first time I saw Lola Shone like, live, or even got to even know about her, was when I attended a poetry event and she anchored that event. I just, and my first impression of her was that she was very eloquent. She, you know, she anchored it really well and she spoke really nicely. Like, she was very eloquent. And I was just taking her back. Little did I know that she was also an author, like a writer. And from what I can see, talking about her at the back of this book, she's also she has written various poetry. However, the Secret Life of Baba Segi's Wife is her first novel. And trust me, guys, like I said, it's, it's a it's a hilarious one, very interesting and, and easy read. So, um, the Secret Life of Baba Segi's Wife is about a family, a polygamous family. Um, of four wives and a husband with seven children and when you start reading this book you are introduced to a typical polygamous family which was um, in Ibadan the book the story of the book was set in was set majorly in Ibadan in Oyo State Nigeria and everything seems to be going pretty okay you know and things were just normal however with the advent of the fourth wife who happens to be the only educated wife in the family while the other three wives and even the husband are illiterate her presence in the family kind of sparked a lot of you know issues and exposed a lot of dark secrets in the families which became like a ticking time bomb which finally exploded the face of the whole family and that time bomb that exploded threatened the peace and the seeming stability of that family. It was a very interesting one, like I said, and you find yourself laughing a couple of times. You find yourself, what I always call, you find yourself taking laughing breaks. I call it laughing breaks because you're just reading and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> like you're laughing and also saying, wow, oh, mm. you know, secrets. Like it's just really, really intriguing as well. It's very, very interesting. Before you know what's going on, you are done reading the book. So the next thing I'm talking about are the themes of the book. So I'll be discussing three themes that stood out to me in this book. Now the first theme is the theme which says marriage is not usually by choice but by circumstances. Or oh, let me put that better. This is a theme of marriage by circumstance and not by choice. You know, reading this book, you get to realize that, you know, a couple of times or more often than we care to um, no, most people get married out of circumstances of life, as a result of their circumstances in life, as a result of the their past and situations that they were faced with, and they had no choice but to just you know get, um, get married to a particular person. So this is also a situation in which, which this is this is a situation where usually wives in polygamous family. Or in some cases, I don't want to generalize and make it a usual um, scenario. But from what I got from this book, it was a thing, you know, that that's, that that expresses the fact that in some cases, wives in polygamous family find themselves in that situation out of circumstance and not by choice, you know. And even sometimes, even the husband finds himself getting married to more than one wife or adding more wives to the number of wives he has as a result of circumstance or situations, and. In this book, we got to um, this book in, unfolds the lives of the wives in this um, families before they got married and after. And you could see how their past kind of influenced the path they took in getting married or being a polygamous family, and even their attitude and how they related to the other wives in the family. Yeah. So the second theme that also stood out to me is the theme of jealousy. I think this is really no brainer when it comes to polygamous family. I think jealousy is synonymous to polygamy. Yeah, because you find us, you find different wives trying to vie or fight. 
for the attention, the affection of their husband. They are also trying to fight for, you know, provision for their children because they know that their children are competing with a lot more other children from the different wives. You know, so you can and you you would also see how the extent they would go to, you know, fight what they would do as a result of jealousy and the crazy things that happens when it comes to you know jealousy for the whole family just for them to achieve their own desires in that home yeah that's about it for jealousy third theme that stood out to me was the theme of the influence and irony of societal beliefs you know and and, and myths this book was you know like i said earlier introduced to a, a, a typical family with the pressure of the family being very confident you know and very proud of his achievements of his family of the fact that he has seven children four wives and he counted all of that to attest to his virility as a man to his you know to his confidence to his stand in society however the whole of this book is like an irony in itself of and to society that's made you a, a, a confident man in society made you look like you know you are you are, you are well respected or it just paints a picture that society would would tell you that if you have that then you know this is who you are it kind of defines you in a way however by the time we get to the end of this book we realize the irony of it all so if you have read this book guys you will definitely understand how this relates to the story in this book and how the other things i've mentioned relates to this book so that brings me to the end of the themes that I that stood out to me in this book. So the next thing I'll be talking about is my favorite quote from this book. So I'm taking it from um, page 200 and 238. So my favorite book, my favorite quote from this book is in page 238. In the fourth paragraph from lines four to eight so I'm going to read it out and this was Baba Sege giving his first son Aki an advice at the towards the ending of this book so I quote keep these words in your left hand lest you wash them away after eating with your right when the time comes for you to marry take one wife and one wife alone and when she causes you pain as all women do <laughs> remember it's better that your pain comes from one source alone listen to your wife's words listen to the word she doesn't speak so that you'll be prepared a man must always be prepared <laughs> i found it really fascinating for you know as an advice from a polygam a polygamist who has four wives seven children and you know counted that as part of his wealth and counted that as one thing that made him very popular and if you have read this book, you understand why he's giving his son that advice at the end, you know, of the story. I found it really, really interesting. You know, society, even apart from polygamy, you just feel like once you are having challenges with one partner, husband or wife, you feel that I think the best option is to change it or look for someone else you think would be better. But apparently, this quote just rings, it, um, it just makes you... You know think about it and realize that the truth is I, we all like i've realized so far that there is no perfect person and when you change someone else you know you realize they might even come with bigger trouble or bigger problem now imagine if you have more than one put together in the same house i can only imagine why it's good advice well i cannot only imagine i've read it so i know why so if you read it you will know why as well <laughs> yeah so that's my favorite quote from this book so finally i'll be giving my rating for this book and my rating for this book is going to be an 8 over 10 this book was such like I said that like I've been saying an interesting one very very easy to read and very hilarious and this was really really nice a nice read I found myself like clapping after reading the book so thumbs up to Lola Shone for this amazing read and I'm looking forward to more books from her you know for more novels from her this is our first novel so guys that brings me to my to the end of today's video if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly do so just click on the subscribe button for more awesome and interesting videos on this channel and also if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment below and let's continue our conversation in the comment section so guys thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye